very welcome to this Senior Render Surface Material Series. My name is Carsten MD from ASM TechBase. Please subscribe to my channel and make sure you ring the bell option here like all so you get all the latest video notifications, all my tutorial, so you won't miss out on anything. And one more thing, on my website, join the ASM TechBase email list for newsletters and future updates. Hi, welcome to this Cine Render Surface Material series. I will explain in this series all those settings of the surface going step by step through this and how you set it up and how to achieve the material color you want. There's a lot of settings in here. Don't be too intimidated because for most of the materials, you only really need two or three options. Okay, let's start with the first option, which is the size. Now for this one, instead of a very simple white material, it is better to show you the one, uh, you know, with some bricks or something. So let's just go to this brick I've got here. So you can see a size here at the moment, my horizontal and vertical size is 3200 each because my um, brick, brick uh, texture is, is a square texture, so obviously it has to be the same size, horizontal or vertical. Make sure you lock the proportion if you change it, otherwise you suddenly have um, your texture looking very funny. Now what is important, let's just quickly go back to our OpenGL. These numbers here, they have to match up with the OpenGL. See, I have got exactly the same number here. As example, let's just say you put this on a thousand. There we go. So if I look now, you can see they're very small here. So if I render this out now, let's see what happens. So as you can see, if you have a look at the brick size here and our 3D brick, they don't match up. So that's why this is very important. So if you open the material surface settings and you have a look at the OpenGL, if this is a thousand and you want to have the same, you go to here and you have to change the size to 1000 here, 1000 here. Okay, you could do this by simply going down here and you can say update scene render settings from basic and it will automatically update this and vice versa. So as example, update basing settings from Cinelens, let's do this. So what happened is it will put the 3200 back into my OpenGL. There you go. So that's pretty nice. Okay, great. So that's that's pretty much it about that. There's not much more to it. Maybe have a quick look. What you can do is you obviously can change the angle that's pretty obvious. You can just put in, you know, 90 degrees so the brick then turns 90 degrees. But brick size, obviously, you don't do that. But there's other, there might be a wooden texture you have and you like to turn in 90 degrees. Then this is very handy. Again, make sure you also turn it 90 degrees in your OpenGL settings so it matches the display, see, which is down here. Okay, let's go back then to my Cinerend Maxon and we have a look at the color. For this, I like to use a just normal white color. Now this white color I applied here. Let's close this out and as you can see from my first render here, I have this white. This is just normal white. You can see a little bit of the, how you said, you can see some darker gray areas here. Okay, and it's not totally white because this is closer to the surface down here. So what happened is to this white collar, if we go back here. Now this setting is in here. If you go back to our surface setting and you go to the collar here, you got an option of diffuse fall off. Let's just put this on totally back, you know, minus a thousand and we render this up again. As you can see, I can stop this here because what happened is, <laughs> have a look at the difference. Your nice white collar is suddenly not white anymore. So if we go back here, 
the, because the fall off is almost non-existent. So if you go the other way around, let's go plus 1000 and we render again. Okay, we can see what happens. Let's stop it here. This is back to white and it's it's a lot more white down here. Can you, can you see? It's a slight difference, but still in the corner here. By the way, I mean, obviously it's tiny bit pixelated the gray because my settings are not as high. But if you go there, you can clearly see that down here it's almost totally white. So I think the diffuse fall off of zero here, just leave this here, you know, just leave it in the middle at zero and then you will be fine with, with all the materials um, colors you do here. Next bit is obviously if we want to add a texture, you can do that here. As I had before this brick texture, let's just add a simple texture here. So we go there and you got lots and lots of options. One of the main options is, is um, an image. We do use it a lot. So let's add an image and I just take one from here. It doesn't really matter. Let's just go and have a look what I've got here. So yeah, just take something. Concrete, concrete B. Yeah, let's just take that concrete one. So, okay. And as you can see, obviously, I've got now this concrete image in here. The size, again, it comes in as a thousand by a thousand. And if I would go now to my OpenGL, I don't have the texture in here. So again, it's very important. So you have to go back. And what you can do is you can go down here and you just set update basing settings from senior render. Let's just do that quickly. And if I now go to my OpenGL, I have this in here perfectly. The same texture, same size. Let's go back to my scene render. So that's very simply put in a texture, size, again, the angle. So that's the same as before. See the textures here. Now, obviously the brightness, I haven't touched it before with if it's just white, but that's, you know, that's just logical, you know, this is more, more bright or less bright and the color, yes, I had a white color, so you just click in here and do a different color. Image obviously overrides this color. And what you can do is we can obviously change this image to other stuff. Um, I don't go through them all because it's just, it's just give you an idea how to actually use the color channel. Maybe one thing I want to touch a little bit is the procedural. I can choose quite a lot here actually. Let's just as example choose tiles. So what it does, it gives you tile option. So that's quite a handy one. Let's open this little arrow here and we click on tile. And as you can see, I've got those tiles in here. Now again, the size, if you go up here, let's do this 200 by 200. Let me see how small they go. Let's do another zero in here and they go bigger. Then we got obviously the grout color, very simple. Let's make it a bit grayish. You can see straight away. And then you have the different tile colors. Pattern is square. You can even change them to anything like a circle. There you go. So they're actually quite handy. I must say that I use this uh, some, every so often I do use this. You can create some bricks. And again, it will give you the color of the brick, um, grout width, that's the width in between. Again, I don't have to go through everything, but this just gives you an idea of what you can do. Again, you can rotate it and you can create the same thing when you want. And uh, not to say, but if you want to add a bit more bump and normal maps, this comes in a later series to, so you don't have this all flat color. Obviously you change the color to the different bricks. What maybe is also important, you see we got three colors and you only see two at the moment. So if you click randomize down here, I'll give you the three different colors and it, it randomized. You can actually, there's not just the same blue, there's different blues. It sort of really gives you a random answer. So, so the best thing is to do is actually, it's, it's just do like a little brick. For example, this one here. And we do this one similar. We go down here, a bit darker. Okay, and this one again, similar. Maybe a bit darker. 
darker. So you see the randomization looks like you're starting to look quite good because they're similar colors. Okay, you can always make sure to, there's just tiny bit different, just make sure you use the settings down here to match maybe if you wanna go down this line, just, you know, have this orange, but you wanna have it just darker and darker again. So you just go down and this way with all the numbers. Okay, so I think this is quite handy in the color channel. I recommend to give those other options a go. Just choose a couple that you think could fit. You could try and you learn a lot by just trial and error. You know, use them, put a couple of numbers in, have a quick render and go from there. The next part of this series will be about the diffuse channel.